Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. So I wanted to do a reading that I saw another tarot card reader do. Um, a tarot card reader that I watch quite often, but she hasn't put a video out in a while. Um, but her name is Tarot Daily. And she had done a reading um, that was, what did you do in a past life to deserve this? So this is going to be a bad karma reading. Um, this can just tell you, you know, if you're going through difficult times in your life right now. Um, maybe what did you do in a past life that makes it so you have to endure this? Maybe it's where you're living, maybe it's where you're working, maybe it's failed relationships, maybe it's all three, but we're gonna find out what did you do in a past life that you deserve this. So, you know, a lot of cultures believe that what you've done in a past life, um, if it was negative, you have to pay for it in your next life. So let's just see, let's just see what the cards have to say. Um, so we're doing this bad karma reading and you have three different decks to choose from today. The first reading is going to be the Tattoo Tarot. The second reading is going to be the Rider Waite Tarot. And the third reading is the Golden Tarot. So I'm just gonna give you a minute to select your deck and then we will see what did you do in this past life that you deserve this bad karma. Okay, so we're starting with the Tattoo Tarot. So we're gonna select five cards and see maybe what did you do in this past life to deserve this. And I do wanna incorporate some messages from the bag or some words from the bag as well. I didn't mention that. Okay, we've got the Five of Cups. Oop, we've got one on the floor. We've got the Lover's card. We've got the Ten of Coins, and we've got the Judgment card. We're going to do one more card. And we've got the Magician. So hopefully you guys can see those. All right, and we're gonna do some messages from the bag to go with these. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get five to match up with the cards. Okay. Oh, we've got Envy. We've got Focused. We've got Kind. We've got Prepared.
and we've got cactus. Okay. So I do think in a past life there was some issue with envy. Um, we've got the five of cups here. This can be about a loss, maybe a loss of a person that you loved dearly. And you could have lost this person to a rival. So there could have been some sort of issue um, where you were envious, you know, because you wanted to be with this particular person. Maybe you felt like this person was yours and you maybe you couldn't accept the loss of this person. Maybe you were bitter, um, bitter over the loss of this person. You know, you were envious of the new person that was with this person. So it could have, you could have felt like this new person came in and they spoiled, you know, what you wanted. You wanted this love with this person. You know, you were, you were in love with this person is what I feel like. And you were focused on this person, having this person, being with this person. Um, you were envious, you know, if someone tried to um, pursue this person. So I feel like um, you weren't making things easier on yourself for kind of being obsessed over this this lover, this person. And that couldn't be part of why you have this bad karma now is because you were you know too focused on this person um you felt probably you felt inadequate you know you could have felt like this person that new person um was interfering and in the love that you wanted you know you could have felt like you didn't you failed you know, you failed the test here. Um, but I feel like you were still focused to get this person back, you know. And so this is in this past life. You could have run into problems like um, saving money, having trouble saving money, um, it could have been gambling with the Ten of Coins here because we're trying to see, you know, what the bad karma was. So we're taking the Ten of Coins as, um, you know, losses, some sort of losses. It could have been, uh, you could have felt like this person was a family, you know, they were your family. And you lost them. And I feel like this this is affecting, it's like a generational curse. And it could be a financial curse. It could have been something to do with a home. But we've got the kind card here, so... You know, I, I feel like things could change, like your, your bad karma as far as your finances, um, your abundance. I feel like that's something that could change, but you should be guarded when it comes to your money. Make sure that you're wise with your money, that you're saving money um, to overcome, I feel like, this generational curse. So it's very important to... Be wise with your money, um, but also to be generous with your money. So be kind, give to charity, you know, if, if you have the means to give. I feel like you have to give to break this generational curse. Um, because it really could affect being able to sustain um, maybe business, things like that. So try to be generous with your money to overcome this because I feel like you're, you're, 
there's still judgment being passed on you from this past life. So if you can make up for some of these things, um, be generous, give, you know, as much as you can to charity. Um, it's like starting over again, not continuing the things that you've done in this past life. So understanding with the judgment card here, I feel like it's understanding what you need to do to overcome that. And that's why I feel like this judgment card is here. Um, because you were being judged for your actions and I feel like they weren't the best. There was a lot of, you know, this person that you couldn't get over, the jealousy, wanting them back. And so there, there's, there's things that are hampering you from getting ahead, definitely. And you are still being judged on your actions of the past. So it was kind of a sentence that was kind of put on you to see how you would react. So it, they're calling on you to make changes in this life. It's kind of like um, rehabilitation, you know. So are you prepared to change is kind of what I'm getting here. Are you prepared to start this new life? And it could be from, you know, the ashes of the past, you know. Are you prepared to start over again? There's judgment. There's there's the sent sentencing. This is part of your bad karma and these difficulties. It's calling you to change. So I do feel like um, if you are able to change some of these things from these you know, these past sentences that have been put on you. I feel like you can do that. You will be able to do that. Um, with the magician here, there's, there's a need to use your power for positive things. There's a need for self-control. Um, it's like, don't be so prickly also because we've got the cactus here. So be careful not to use your power for, or your talents for, um, bad. Focus on doing positive things, inspiring other people. Use your skills and talents for good and not bad. Be a leader that inspires other people. Because I do feel like there's this prickliness. And you could even still feel this. Um, and I feel like it's coming from this past life. And it's like you're trying to shake that. You know, you're trying to shake that. I don't know. It's almost like you don't want people to touch you. Um... And that's something that's from a past life as well. And it could be because of this, you know, this relationship that went sour. It's almost like you don't want people to touch you. Is what I'm getting. But I would just say, you know, focus on doing the right thing this time around. You are still being, you know, judged. You, you are still under the sentence of the past life, but that doesn't mean that you can't change things and try your best to overcome things and try your best to inspire others um, this time around, do things better, you know? You've got this divine inspiration, you know, to, to start over and to change things, so do your best to do the right thing and and to give when you can be kind when you can and not be envious 
of other people and what they have um, because that was something of the past that I feel like is kind of carried over. So that's what I'm getting for you if you pick this first reading. I just wanted to try something different and I was inspired by the other reader, Tarot Daily. I really like her. She's she's much better than me at doing tarot, uh, but I wanted to give it a shot. So thank you guys so much for coming. Um, if you would like a personal reading, check out my Etsy. The link is down below. Uh, if not, then just um, subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any future readings that I do. Okay, so if you picked the second deck, the Rider Weight deck, let's see what is um, what is it that you did in the in a past life to deserve whatever you're going through now? These difficulties that you're having right now in life. So this is kind of a bad karma. Ooh, we've got the Seven of Swords. We've got the Ten of Cups. We've got the Justice. We get a couple more cards. Okay. We've got the Four of Pentacles. Well, we've got two more cards, but we'll go with it. We've got the Seven of Wands, and we've got the Devil. Not the greatest cards. All right, we're going to do some clarifiers with the messages from the bag. I didn't mention this at the beginning, but it's something that I wanted to incorporate. So we're going to get one for each of these cards. And then I'll try to decipher what I'm seeing. Maybe you guys see it differently. And that's something that happens sometimes. Okay. So we've got a word for each card. I'm going to tell you what those are. Okay, we've got doubtful. We've got thoughts. We've got embarrassed. We've got fortunate. We've got clingy. <laughs> And the last one is wallet. Okay, so it's kind of getting something similar to that. So with this reading, I'm kind of getting like uh, the golden handcuff, if you guys have heard of that, um, being really tied to the physical world and material possessions. So I think in a past life, you were doubtful that you could you know, be successful, have, a, you know, a perfect marriage, you know, a home that you wanted, happy children, just having all of the good life. I think that you were kind of doubtful that you could have that kind of life, you know, that perfect love. So for that reason, I think it, it led you down uh, a road that wasn't the best. So I think it was a road of dishonesty, theft, being cunning, being sneaky. And you may have been, um, you know, a person that stole, could have been a robber, a person like that, that stole from people that were better off, you know, people that had already earned things, a home, and you had you really didn't think much about them 
and how it would affect them. I think you just, you know, took what you wanted and kind of, you were almost smug about it. You know, the fact that you were stealing from these people. And it was all because you were kind of doubtful that you could lead that type of life. You were, you were probably a little bit jealous of those people that had that, you know, the nice home, the, you know, happy um, children, happy husband, wife, you know, you were kind of jealous and you were doubtful that you could have that. So you kind of wanted to make their life more difficult by stealing from them. You know, that was your way of kind of sabotaging them um, was to steal from them. And, and I don't th feel like you thought much about um, you, you didn't think that it would hurt them much, you know? Oh, yeah, well, I took, you know, their ring, you know. Oh, it's we're not really going to bother them because, you know, they can get a new one, you know, something like that. And then I feel like there was some sort of justice that you had to face. So maybe you had to go to court over maybe you left some sort of clues behind and they found out and you had to go, um, to court about it. And I feel like the, the judge was very, very hard on you and made you think about, you know, your repercussions of what you're doing. So kind of made you understand that what you're doing, you know, they kind of affected your emotions about it. And then I think you felt kind of embarrassed for the life that, you know, you had been living. And it's kind of a sad thing because I feel like your whole life was about collecting things, you know, material possessions. You wanted them. Um, it made you feel secure, you know, to have these things. It made you feel financially stable to have these things. So I feel like you never got to have that love that you wanted deep down that you wanted you were doubtful that you could even have that so you were fortunate I feel like as far as financially um you had a lot because I feel like you had acquired these possessions illegally you know it was it was dishonest how you acquired these things but I feel like you did have you you did have a lot, but you weren't, you know, you weren't giving about it. You weren't sharing. You weren't charitable about it. So you were fortunate. And kind of, I feel like your, your karma was that um, there were always people that were trying to steal from you or... You know, because you, you did have those things, you did have material possessions, and it's because you acquired them, you know, in a, a dishonest way. But then you had a lot of people that were coming at you and wanted to, you know, either get you or harm you. And the word was clingy, clingy. So I feel like you had a lot of people that were, you know, close to you that um, harbored, you know, bad feelings towards you. They always wanted to like poke at you. And so I feel like it was really, really hard. So some of that karma you were having in the actual past life. And then I feel like um, things even got worse. Things even got worse because we're the ending card here is the devil. So it could have even ended with you um, having addictions and then um, we've got wallet. So I feel like um, your money really was something that um, was became restricted and because of these addictions and then I feel like this materialism ultimately led to your your downfall you know so I think this past life um, you were just a very um, greedy person definitely a greedy person 
um, possessive about your things that you had acquired, which I feel like you had dishonestly um, got. You weren't a sharing, giving, generous person. And that's why I feel like in this life, you're, you could be having some difficulties. Even though you were a little bit embarrassed about it, I feel like once someone had called you out, I, I feel like it was probably a judge or something had called you out. You were embarrassed about it, but you never changed it. You know, you never changed it. You just kind of um, still wanted to possess more things and have more things, be greedy. And uh, ultimately, that was the downfall of this past life. So maybe there's some things you can do in this life um, to overcome that you know it could be sharing more being more generous with people um, but you could have financial anxiety because of this past life you know and at the end I feel like you died in in poverty so that could be some of the reasons why you have this financial anxiety in this life so that's what I'm getting for you if you pick number two. Just a fun little reading I wanted to try. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, check out my link to my Etsy below. I have lots of different readings over there that I would love to do for you guys. If you're not interested, then just make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time that I post a reading. Okay, and last but not least, if you pick the Golden Tarot, let's see, what did you do in a past life to deserve this? So this is for people that are going through difficulties right now in life, whatever they may be. There's, there's challenges right now, and you want to know, you know, what did you do in this past life that you're getting this bad karma? Okay, we've got the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Justice. We've got the High Priestess. We've got the Eight of Cups. Get one more card, please. Okay, we've got the Empress. All right, I'm going to get some messages from the bag. So I'm using this as clarifiers. Now let's look at the words. Okay, we've got embarrassed. We've got enjoyable. We've got brain. We've got resentful. And we've got fortunate. Okay. So for this pile, I...
think that you're a feminine. Most of you that chose this pile are going to be a feminine. Or in your past life, you were a female. And we've got the Four of Pentacles. So I do feel like there was materialism that was a problem um, in a past life. You could have felt restricted about your finances. You could have felt like there were limitations when it came to your finances. And some of you could have been embarrassed over financial things or your your foundation. You know, you, you've just felt like it was restricted and... You could have been obsessed, you know, with with money and embarrassed if you didn't have like the nice things, you know, the way this woman, she's got very nice clothing and even over here. So I do feel like you had some stability, but you didn't feel that it was enough. You know, you wanted to live a certain lifestyle and you felt like you were restricted in that way. So, um, I think that it restricted you a lot as far as being able to enjoy your life. I feel like this materialism really affected, um your ability to be happy. And I just see a lot of women here that are alone. So I do feel like you had kept that kind of hidden and kind of, I feel like you were kind of guarded about that. Maybe you acted like you were enjoying your life and you really weren't you really weren't I feel like you were kind of maybe in denial about it and you could have kept it hidden that you weren't really enjoying your life some of you I feel like were a psychic medium or you had some sort of special powers because we've got the brain and the high priestess. So some of you, um, you could have led a life being a psychic medium and you were intuitive. Um, you knew things, you know. And you were on the next level when it came to... Um, you know, spirituality, things like that. You you felt things deeper than other people. So the whole time while you were making people think that you were enjoying your life, um, inside you weren't, you know, inside you weren't a happy person because none of these women are, are smiling either. So um, you probably kept that a secret. You know, you kept that a secret. Um, some of you, it could have been a relative, actually, that was a psychic medium. Um, and this person, they, they, they told you some things that you probably didn't want to hear. And they kind of affected your confidence. So it could have been that their approach wasn't the best. And so it kind of made you resentful towards um, getting into a relationship, getting into a secure relationship. Um, so I think you, you, you lived a life of loneliness you know not getting into 
a good healthy relationship not being able to manifest a good relationship um you know being miserly not spending not spending money um staying in the home and you know she's got this shield so it's like being guarded um just being guarded from anybody coming in and having a relationship so i think you definitely read led a life of seclusion and it could have been very saddening for you but i feel like you didn't really express that to a lot of people um it could have felt like you were just restricting yourself you know in prison imprisonment but it's you know self-imposed so that's kind of what i'm getting but in this life i think you you kind of need to fight that in this life you need to fight that's feeling like you can't have a happy relationship. You'll never have a happy relationship. Um, being kind of pessimistic when it comes to love. Shielding your heart. And this could be something that comes from a past life. That you, you just don't feel like you can have a good balanced relationship but I feel like you do have the ability to, um, you're a beautiful person. I'm getting that very beautiful person, um, but troubled, you know, troubled. And this is from a past life. So it could be that you're not able to have a good relationship. And this person, I feel like it, it could be a relative that was a psychic medium. Um, you could even have some of these skills that have been passed down from this person. But make sure that you um, are empowering people um, with your gifts and not making them bitter and resentful as far as going forward in relationships. Um, so using your power for good. Encouraging people to have good, healthy, balanced relationships. So being a good influence on people to get into committed relationships, stable relationships. Because that could be hard for you because I feel like in this past life, you didn't have any of that. So that's what I'm getting for you if you pick this third reading. Something really different that I wanted to try. So let me know down in the comments if you like that. Um, and if you would like a personal reading, the link to my Etsy is down below. And if you like this reading, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can see the future readings that I do for you guys. So thank you so much. And as always, sending you love, light, and blessings. Bye-bye.